Welcome to Famous Fortunes. I hope you are well. We are looking at the Duchess of Cambridge and her reaction to the Sussex trip. And we'll look at Harry and Meghan separately for, you know, a good dose of Juicy Goss today. So if you are interested in Juicy Goss, then you've come to the right place. If you, however, are not a fan of Juicy Goss, then I'm very sorry, but I cannot help you. And uh, this channel may, be, may not be for you. So let that be known. Only only the juiciest of Goss on Famous Fortunes. Let that be known. So what did you think of Prince Harry and his trip to the UK? Where's she at? How did she react? Let's get some cards on the table and see what we have to see. Cards are hot. We have King of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, the Hierophant, Two of Coins, and the Hanged Man, underlying energy here, the Four of Swords. You know, I, I get a certain level of reservation with the Duchess of Cambridge. Now, I don't mean that in a... How can I say this? In a a poor-mannered way, or a, I don't mean that in a... Even a hesitant way. I kind of see this, looking at these cards, as... You know, she's looking at it as royal business, really. I think that's largely what I'm seeing here. It's, it, it is, the situation is, is a bit unstable with, with Prince Harry, let's say. However, you know, there's, there's a recognition that he is, I guess, you know, connected to the royal family and, and there is a certain, um, obligation, I would say, that, you know, he be there and that type of thing. You know, it's interesting. I don't see a lot of emotion here on the cards at, at all, really. I don't see a lot of emotions on the cards. I, I think, all in all, I think my take is quite respectful here and quite, yeah, reserved in a respectful way. You know, there is underlying energies here, a desire to not have a lot of contact with Prince Harry, I think. There's not a lot of, uh, there's no bridge to be built at this stage. I think that's fair to say. Let that be known. He's, he, you know, she's certainly seeing how things develop. I think that's really what it is. Even the next underlying energy is interesting. She, she the Duchess of Cambridge is seeing how things develop she is watching and waiting. Maybe things will get better. Maybe they'll get worse. But, you know, there's, there isn't a lot that she can do at this stage. I think uh, given, you know, certain historical events <laughs> such as the Oprah interview, uh, what more can uh, <laughs> what, what can she do at this point in terms of her role in the royal family? So I think she's very, very cognizant, let's say, of her role and her... Uh, her path in the family. That's kind of what I'm seeing here. I, I see this as very, very respectful. Uh, I don't see this as judgmental or, you know, or nasty or anything like that. I really don't. I think she's just watching and seeing how things develop. You know, not a, you know, it is what it is. That's what it is. It is what it is. And it's, it's a, it's a, it's a tricky situation because, you know, we've got, essentially two members of the royal family. We're talking about Harry in this particular spread, but, you know, two members of the royal family and they're sort of half in, half out, sort of this limbo situation. Uh, but, you know, I think, you know, it's neither here nor there to her. It's just the way it is. It's just the way it is. It's life, you know, it's life. It's life for her. It's her life. What, what can I say? There's not a lot else to say there. Now, I mean, that was Prince Harry. What does he think? What does she think? What does the Duchess of Cambridge think about Meghan Markle? Let's find out. Meghan Markle, it's almost becoming, I mean, almost, it really largely has become a meme, that word, isn't it? It's a very, you know, if you if you say to someone you got Markle, everyone knows. It's, it's really becoming, it's, it's really become that. It, it really is. It really is. I mean, it, just like Amber Heard, it's a similar thing. 
you know, it's like similar thing. Poo in your bed. What can I say? It's everyone knows it. Even the the bee, the bee dog stepped on a bee. That's becoming a thing too. Uh, it's it is what it is. It is what it is. What can I say? What can I say? Not a lot. Has anyone has anyone talking about Markles? Has anyone heard or from or of uh, Thomas Markle these days? I haven't heard a lot. If anyone's heard anything, then let it be known in the comments. Where is he at? I take it. He, I take it he didn't make the jubilee. I mean, obviously. Uh, so let's uh, get into it. Apparently, I heard he was going to be at Lady C's. I, that's what I heard. But I'm not sure if that's right. Not sure. So, Duchess of Cambridge, what did you think of Meghan Markle? Let's go. Cards are hot. We have the Page of Pentacles, Judgment. You know, that's the same. If you uh, have a look at the William Reacts to the Sussexes episode, the Page and Judgment came up strongly for William. Three of Cups. Uh, the, if for Megan as well, interesting, Megan, they've, they're really Queen of Cups, Hanged Man here, Underlying Energy, Ace of Pentacles, uh, El Diablo, of course, El Diablo makes an appearance, as we say, regularly, it almost wouldn't be an episode of Famous Fortunes without it, and I have to tell you, it's, uh, El Diablo, that's, what can I say, on the cards, I mean, it's, it's on the cards, folks. Good times. All right. <laughs> Making sure it's in there. So, okay. I think it's fair to say that she's being quite reserved towards Harry as a member of the royal family. I would say that's not extending to Meghan as much. As much. And I would tell you that you've got a page of pentacles here and judgment. The situation with the kids is getting a lot of attention. A lot of attention. Now, I don't know. This card's interesting. This Three of Cups here. Oh, that's an interesting one. A small gathering. Uh, a third party type situation. Interesting. Oh, the devil and the hanged man. It's kind of like she's plugged into the family now. I mean, you know, we all know it. We all know it. I mean, I, I think I, you know, I, I don't like to say these things because I know sometimes people don't want to hear it, but the end of the day, no one wanted Megan at the Jubilee, at least in this audience. I know not one, not, not many people said she should go. I think a lot of the sentiment was quite the opposite, in fact. And that's that's not me judging the situation. That's just me observing the comments as they flow through. Uh, I'm not sure many people thought that she should go. Yes, yeah, some people did say it was the right thing to do to invite her and all the rest of it. But here's the point, okay? We've got a hanged man and we've got a devil card as the underlying energy. So it's... It's a recognition. She knows who she's dealing with. And, you know, she's there. She's there in the family. It's it's a it's an issue that's there and it's not going to go away. And we've got the devil card underneath. And the devil is surrounded here or accompanied by, let's say, this opportunistic type of element. So we have an opportunistic uh, flavoured El Diablo in the Duchess of Cambridge's eyes, I suppose. So there's that. Now, okay, so fair enough. That would, We probably know that. Now, the interesting thing, again, is this issue with the pages. It's it's over and over again. It's very much for both uh, Prince William and, uh, uh, and for Catherine herself, both very much focused on the issues of what's going on with the kids. Is there a third party involved with the kids? I think that's a question that might be on the... This is one of the earliest or probably the earliest card that we had on Famous Fortunes talk about this issue of the kids. C biggest question we have. Everyone wants to know. Fair enough. Three of Cups. Third party activity. Now, this card here is... Interesting. In that... Who's the Queen of Cups? Hmm. What is this trying to tell us? The, 
I, I would say, you know what I would say reading for these cards? Something's happened behind the scenes here. Small gatherings, be weary of small gatherings or something along those lines. It, it's not what it appears to be with the devil card. I, I don't think we're going to know what exactly has happened here, but I think maybe there's been something that's happened behind the scenes, come to a small gathering, maybe it's to do with the, you know, the pages, but I, I actually don't know. But that, I don't want to read. I, I'm just telling you that sometimes the tarot things see things that you don't see. Uh, because we don't have all the information. Uh, and I tell you that I think there's a hesitancy to get involved here. She certainly made her mind up, that's for sure. And Prince William as well, uh, if you've checked that episode out. So, yeah, I'll, that's what I will say. I think something's happened behind the scenes, small gatherings, weary of it or something on those lines, not what it quite appears to be, um, something like that. But other than that, it's there's some sort of third-party activity going on here to do with another woman or to do with the pages in some way. It's hard to say, but that's what I'm seeing on the cards. So what are your thoughts? What could this be, this mystery? Let it be known in the comments.